Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Enter Dimensions reality update video, episode 38. And it's been quite a long time, probably about a week since last recording. I did a lot of things, such as I grinded a lot of dilated time up to 7.5 E24 dilated time. I mostly did this in dilation, and this is why my max replicanti is E24,000. I'm also not sure if I talked about this, but I also got the requirement for the boundless flow. It really isn't that bad. It's like one day of offline bank infinity grinding. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But then there's also the glyphs. And this is the thing. I kind of timed it kind of so that I would just barely get a level four glyph. And this means the things are a little bit more powerful. It's still not all that much better. Like, this is still probably only a few galaxies, although it's probably is a little bit better now. But I think something like this is actually more galaxies still, and it just helps in general. And the other big thing is how many reality MPs I'm able to gain. And the number is 99, which is it's interesting. With my two reality machines, it's actually enough to immediately unlock the black hole, which I'm pretty sure is a horrible idea because I there's better ways to spend my reality machines than immediately dumping all of it into unleashing the black hole. I think, like, definitely I'm going to get Cosmically Duplicate and Paradoxically Attained. They're pretty cheap and they're pretty powerful. So that's... Especially with the glyph I'm going to be getting, which is basically a dilated time boost based on my replicanti. So that means if I can get more replication, I can get more dilated time. The other upgrades are, it, it's a bit more complicated. And the because the boundless flow is basically the, it's like study 181, but for infinity stats instead of infinity points, which can be useful like probably more useful than the knowing existence because of how good the eternity channel 10 reward is well yeah if we can go here it's e23 but i saw it at e27 when i had 10 times the banked infinities so that that could be good and it's just normal infinities not banked infinities but still this is still three e7 banked infinities per second which over the span of like a week or even just a few days, is easily E13 banked infinities. I mean, I could just do that manually, but whatever. Also, it's weaker in dilation. The other upgrade, big upgrade here, is the eternal flow. Gain eternities per second equal to your reality count. Now, I'm actually going to be doing something here where I, I'm actually going to export my save to check something it's a little bit cheaty but i think the fact that I'm, it's just a check is okay basically i want to see if this automatically starts giving me my eternity milestones this will make it so that like if it is doing that i'm not going for existentially prolonged because it's kind of useless for the next bit the eternal flow also cuts out basically all the eternity grinding sections so that is really really nice the other possible upgrade I could get, and this is a bit of a weird one, is instead of getting this, I could get, I could get the top row ones. And, like, temporal amplifier, like, it's actually pretty good. And, well, I can get both of these or one of the 60s. And, or just one of the 30s, because I want to get the black hole. And I've been thinking throughout the last couple weeks, like, what would I want to do? And seeing that I can get all the way up to 99 reality machines, if I get all of these, which is 80, I'll have 101 minus 80, so that's 21 reality machines remaining. And it shouldn't be that hard to reach 79 to unlock the black hole the next time. Because I think after I get like these, I think it really will become a lot more beneficial to unlock the black hole. So... Yeah, I that's the plan. I'm first going to export my save just to check if 
I, I'm going to go for the Eternal Flow if it is actually giving me Eternity Milestones right off the bat. If it's not, then I'm going to skip it and e either go for one of the other upgrades here or even just get something like a Temporal Amplifier. As if I didn't, as if I didn't have enough dilated Time Boost as it is. So I think, yeah. Here we go. Make a new reality. I'm going to pick this glyph, which might be a horrible idea, but whatever. These other glyphs don't seem as powerful, at least for the end game. And I, I eventually I will be starting to. Well, I I will try to go for other glyphs, but for this time I'm just going to pick this, and because I don't really need need an, like a boost from time theorems, because it's. That part of the game is fast anyway, and yes, there is the paradoxical forever, but when I get this perk here, the one that can automatically give me Eternity Challenge rewards, like, that's going to become a joke because it's going to turn the game into essentially the first 13 episodes of New Game Plus Plus Plus, or it's just New Game Plus that... I'm really talking about so yeah here we go make a new reality pick the common glyph of replication with the abysmal 0.2 percent rarity with a 4.56 times dilated time boost per e1000 10,000 replicanti and yeah here we go three two one bam so okay so what i'm gonna go for, so there is an exclamation mark on the black hole because I can barely unlock it. But it's pretty obvious that this is not the choice I want to go for. So, um, definitely these two. Like, just without question. They're cheap, they're good, and yeah. Uh, then here is the eternal flow. Is, is it going to give me the milestone? I'm going to look here. It's going to give me three eternities per second. Um... So let's let's see. I'm 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 just gonna do it. Let's see if it's doing it. It is giving me the milestone. So I think I will just do this and not go for um prolong. Even though everyone says prolong is better and easier, whatever. I'm doing it the opposite way. And honestly, like I barely I barely need this, but I'll get it eventually. And there's also the black hole, which I can't unlock, obviously. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm I need 79 reality machines which shouldn't be too too bad i hope there's also the glyph making process where i assume i just drag and drop into the okay i guess i have to restart the reality whatever that's not too bad so now i have mixed irregularity whatever that is and well i'm still gonna get my milestones for free so basically this just means that I well don't start with everything unlocked. What about the infinity challenge? Wait, I don't have the infinity challenges unlocked. I guess I, I get the automation. Do I get anything more than just the, the, the very very beginning? Maybe this maybe the eternal flow isn't the best idea. I don't know. Like I thought it would be a lot. I thought maybe it just auto gives the. Like, where is the you start eternity with all infinity upgrades? Like, that's what I was kind of banking on here. Instead of this. I mean, is there anything I can do? Well, I'm, I'm barely getting anything. Hmm. Okay. Well, if it's going to be that useless, this is why I checked. I really wanted to know how good this was going to be. So that I wouldn't make a mistake later on. And that's what I'm going to do. Options, import save, import... If this will actually go here. Um, just do this. I don't really need the offline progress here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it again. I'm going to pick the same glyph and pick different reality upgrades. So, okay, right off the bat, we are going to change the glyphs. We're also just going to see what happens. I'm not going to actually unlock the black hole because that's like ridiculous, but we can just see what this looks like when I can do it. So we're just getting cosmic duplicate and paradoxically attain. 
Now, the one thing the Eternal Flow is good for is I think that it will, when I Eternity, I'll get more Eternity points and also cut down on the Eternity Grounding. So this, this takes me to another decision. What do I want to get? Do I want to get something like the Boundless Flow or like the Knowing Existence? It actually starts at a three times multiplier, which isn't bad. Although I'm not really going for anything that's not the telemechanical process. So I don't know what to do. Maybe it's just get one of the amplifiers, as weird as it sounds. Except I think a three times multiplier is not going to be as good as like an EP multiplier, I think. So I'll, although this is more expensive, so it's it's a, it's a really tricky decision to make. And especially knowing that I want to get the black hole next time. And the eternal flow is still really good. Because at like erasing the eternity grinding milestones. It's much better than eternal amplifier. Definitely. But what else? is? I mean, I could get the boundless flow. Which definitely isn't bad. It 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 even helps the early game. Like the pre... The pre infinite the, the pre-eternity part it even helps that the other thing that i will be going for possibly is existentially prolonged next time or will i because next time i already have a big plan and basically i haven't really told this to you so i'm gonna do it um i am well okay i kind of told you so i'm oh yeah perks that's kind of that's kind of the centerpiece of the of the plan. Um, I'm going for this mo not really for the boost that this gives me. Even although this is really good, it makes the idle path now the best. At least before I start unlocking like after Eternity Channel Ten, all that stuff. But the big thing is this: the auto complete Eternity challenges, and it makes getting it's essentially prolonged kind of useless for the or not useless, but. Like, not the most important thing ever for the next bit. So, I think a better thing... It's really tricky. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get at least 79 reality machines. Um, at least 99 or 89, that's a little bit harder. Um, but, uh, it's, 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 it's really challenging what I want to go for. It's it's challenging in a good way, though, so that's good. Oh, yeah, the other thing I was going to tell you that I keep forgetting to mention is next reality I'm going for ling linguistically expand. Um, I want that another glyph slot. It's going to be 15 reality machines, so cheap upgrade. And that makes me think, maybe I want something cheaper. Something where I can, like in two realities, because that reality, I'm not going to be having many buffs to, like, dial at a time from glyphs or anything, or anything like that. I'm probably not getting more than, like, 20 or 30 reality machines at the most. So that, that means that I, I might want to be a little bit of a cheap stake and maybe get Temporal Amplifier, because three times dial at a time isn't bad, because that's, with the amount of things I can get, it's about four galaxies, which is actually about as good as the knowing existence. And of course, with dilated time, I can, it like, it allows me to get like dilated time doublers. But then like the knowing existence, it'll help more things, not just the dilation section of the game. Same with the boundless flow. Although infinity grinding really isn't the concern anymore. So what do I get? Okay, so I've, I've made a decision, and this might be seem disappointing, but I'm not gonna pick it yet. I'm, I have, I am now leaning towards the knowing existence because I'm realizing that the boundless flow is gonna be kind of useless because it's gonna make it a lot weaker. It's a lot weaker when I'm grinding dilated time, and that's what I'm doing most of the time anyway. This I don't need that. And it affects a lot more of the game than you gain dilated time three times faster. I mean, yes, that is nice, but I I think I have enough dilated time boosts as it is. It will also help with eventually getting a lot of upgrades. So 
I'm not going to get it yet because I'm not to eternity. But then th things will hopefully shape up. But the thing is that this reality is not different, not very different than last reality. There, there's no differences pre-eternity than the second reality. Like the third one, I was going for all those upgrades. I'm not going for anything before eternity. So that's, that's that. And then after that, like, yes, I will be getting a few buffs, like from last reality. I mean, there's still this, there's the idle path being better now, while even though eternity points is actually a little bit less than active, which is interesting. Probably starts at around the passive amount. And also there is this, although I don't think that will be that much of a concern, especially once I get the last achievement, it's going to remove that. And it means I don't have to be holding R all the time, so that's good. And that's really the only change pre-dilation, like the only significant change. If I go for the knowing existence, which I might, this part of the game will be sped up a little bit, but it's not going to be like a earth shattering change. It's really just going to be, how do I, how do I even describe it? Yeah, just like a, a light buff. And it's only dilation where I'm going to see a massive buff starting with like a hundred times dilated time boost gains. So this means I'm going to, I'm basically going to skip recording everything until I either make a decision in the reality upgrades or I like just something really interesting shows up that I want to actually mention. So I know not, not much really quote unquote progression happened in this episode, but that's okay because reality is so much decision-making that that's the interesting part about this game. And I really do want to unlock the black hole soon. And it, it's, it's going to, it's going to be amazing when I unlock that. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.